Good morning, this is Lou Noble out here at Cherry Valley Ranch RV Resort. Um, today is August, uh, Friday, August the 10th. And as you can see, I slept in my car last night with my buddy Doug. And the um, reason I slept in my car is because my RV broke down. So, anyways, I'm out here at Cherry Valley Ranch. I did manage to get my spot. This is my spot here. And, um, and this is one of the poles right here where you have your electricity hookup and your sewer lines where the RBs hook up to so you could have proper sanitation. Now if we had if the county of Orange would open up spaces like this and uh, for the homeless population and it's structured I mean all they have to do is structure it it won't take long because as we know shelters and uh, housing is it's not gonna pop overnight as we have a homeless situation which uh, we had called up a state of emergency a long time ago so so far we only have two shelters one of them the courtyard uh, was supposed to hold at least 350 it's gone over 400 now people in there the bridges of Kramer which uh, was supposed to hold 200 people uh, now they have a tent outside which uh, they have uh, constructed to actually get more more people in there but uh you know this couple of shelters we need more shelters out there so this will be feasible for everybody to to if they could just open lots to have we have so many open uh open lots out there that are county and city owned so uh, don't believe anything your county tells you that there's a lot out there and people are are resisting help. Uh, yeah, some of them are resisting help because the shelters that they have now are run like prisons. Okay. Uh, some people might differ from what I'm saying here, but as many people that I've talked to, as people that have, have been in the shelters, county shelters, have said that they're being abused in there and felt like it was like prison. Not just because of the strict rules that they have, but because people are getting abused. People are getting sick in those, uh, in those shelters because they sleep like like sardines there and uh, the cops uh, in all the cities are pushing everybody to go there uh, to the point where uh, people are resistant and and the cops are are you know now saying shelter or jail uh, j jails we know they cost a lot more but putting a structure like this would probably take less than three months tops like they did with the dog parks out there in Anaheim and uh, all they have to do is hook up this uh, I don't you know not a contractor or, but uh, I believe that if they just open up spots uh, it would be a relief for not only the homeless but the communities of NIMBYs who don't want uh, them in in their parks and the streets or even in the river bit where they were just fine you know they could have just structured the river bit and then transition everybody to housing which there is no housing uh, because their plans are just being on the table now that uh, it's going to take to the first phase is going to be six months from now and then it's going to take over three years to complete which by that time will have a risen uh, homelessness. Uh, homelessness does not go away. It keeps rising and it's going to get worse. 
And I don't know if you've seen LA, but if we don't do something soon to accommodate uh, a lot of the people that lost their houses, are disabled, most of them are disabled out there. And because there is no living uh, wages and no um, rent control, um, we have this problem of homelessness. Not everybody's a drug addict or criminals. Most of the homeless people that I have met have had had pretty good jobs, had work. They're citizens, not illegals. This is Lou Watt here, People's Media.